Hey, what's going on everyone? So if you haven't heard yet, I have a new YouTube channel called BTBRV Rants. I'll put a link in the description of this video if you want to go check it out. It is more focused around the rant topics that I occasionally talk about on this channel. Now that does not mean that I'm going to change this channel in any way. I'm still going to have rant topics on here, but that channel is going to be more focused to answering questions as well as having more of an engaging back and forth dialogue as well. And I may do some live video topics from that channel, so if you haven't had a chance Hop on over there, subscribe to that channel so you get the updates, and then come right back so you can watch the rest of this video. So what's going on guys? So with the horsepower and torque wars with these heavy duty trucks ramped up to the highest level ever, it can be really difficult to figure out what truck you're actually buying when you go to a dealership. I think the number one most confusing thing you are likely to experience is to go to a dealership, look at a three quarter ton, a one ton, or a dually pickup truck, and think that it's gonna have that maximum tow number that all the advertisers and all the different truck companies are talking about. So what I'm gonna try to do in this video is kind of walk you through what you can expect if you wanted to get a crew cab, long bed, or short bed, four-wheel drive truck with the highest towing capacity possible for each specific brand. So Ram claims a 35,100 pound max gooseneck towing capability, and that's with a regular cab, eight foot bed, dually pickup truck, high output Cummins engine, and ice and transmission. Now in the package that's most commonly purchased, which is gonna be the eight foot bed crew cab four wheel drive version of this truck, if you opt for the highest output engine and transmission combination, then you're actually gonna have a class leading 34,130 pounds worth of maximum gooseneck towing. And again, that's gonna be a crew crew cab, long bed, dually version of that truck in four wheel drive. Now, if you're looking at a single rear wheel version of the truck, then your towing capacity is still gonna be pretty high at 20,110 pounds, which is again, your fifth wheel gooseneck towing capacity with a Ram single rear wheel truck equipped with the high output Cummins engine and the ice and transmission. So now let's move on to GMC. So GMC and Chevrolet share the same power plant and transmission, and the maximum towing capacity of a single cab or regular cab long bed dually pickup truck is gonna be right at 35,500 pounds. However, if you opt for a crew cab version of this vehicle in a dually configuration four wheel drive, your towing capacity is gonna be 31,400 pounds. If you get it in a single rear wheel version, then it's 21,500 pounds. And in a single rear wheel version it's actually class leading so it's going to beat out both ram and ford in that configuration but in a dually configuration the gm trucks are going to have a hundred extra pounds worth of towing capacity than a comparably equipped and configured ford f-350 dually so finally, let's talk about Ford. So the Ford Super Duty, which I can't talk about the 2020 model yet because it hasn't been released and the numbers are still secret, but the 2019 model, if you get it in an F-350 package, it's gonna have 31,300 pounds worth of maximum towing capacity in a crew cab four-wheel drive dual rear wheel setup. If you get the F-450, it'll be 32,500 pounds. So it's gonna be roughly 1,200 pounds more if you opt for a 450 over a 350. Now, if you get the single rear wheel version of an F350, you're going to have a maximum towing capacity of 20,400 pounds. And remember, that is fifth wheel gooseneck towing capacity. So in terms of comparing all three trucks, GM is going to lead the pack in terms of fifth wheel gooseneck towing for a single rear wheel truck at 21,500 pounds, followed up by Ford at 20,400 pounds, followed up by Ram at 20,110 pounds. Now, in terms of dualies, Ram takes the high horse here. They are 34,130 pounds for a dually Ram 3500 crew cab four-wheel drive truck. For the same configuration with GM, it's going to be 31,400 pounds for 3500 HD. And for Ford, it's going to be 31,300 pounds. Now, if you include the Ford F450 into the mix, it goes up to 32,500 pounds, which would still place it second behind the Ram 3500 
crew cab four wheel drive with the high output Cummins engine and the Ison transmission. So there you have it folks. So even though all three manufacturers really like to tout that maximum number with the right configuration, even though oftentimes they show the more common configuration in the commercials and then they have a big banner showing their maximum configuration, the actual numbers of the truck you may buy might be significantly different than the numbers that they're advertising. And you need to be aware of that when you're shopping for these very capable trucks. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, please give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you again very soon.